guys, so are you guys paying attention to the UFO phenomena? Where is that? Over there? You know, <clears throat> it is strange to say the least. And it's important. It is something that really happening. A lot of people are either, you know, all in, they believe everything. And other people are like, ah, hogwash, there's nothing to it. I say there's something to it. Okay, to understand this uh, UFO phenomena, you have to be in a different mindset. First of all, we have to realize the limitations of our eyes and our ears, our touch. All of our senses have, have a lot of constraint on them. And when we open our eyes and we look around, we think we see everything there is to see. But really, we see tiny portions of it. The, <clears throat> the magnetic, electromagnetic spectrum is really large, and what we detect of it is really small to begin with. Then our senses, our eyes, we have this big area of our brain devoted to vision. And it wouldn't be needed if your eyes were like a camera and it just could uh, pick up everything that's there. You wouldn't need all that brain to, to interpret it. But what happens is your brain is taking a little bit of information that's coming from your eyes and all your senses, but visual cortex from your eyes. And it's <clears throat> trying to paint a picture in your head. In other words, what you see out there, the picture's in here, right? Okay, so what we have to do to understand this UFO phenomena is we have to understand that phenomena. <clears throat> We're really talking about perceiving reality here. And our, our senses are so limited our eyes are not designed well. It's a product of evolution, you know. It just builds on top of things and on top of things. So we wind up with nerve in the back of our eye, right in the field of view. So we only end up seeing a very small portion. I hear it all the time that if you put your thumb out and you blink your eyes back and forth, that little spot between your between your thumbs is what you can see clearly. Everything else is just like a blur. But it doesn't appear that way. Our brain makes it all up. Our, our brain paints a picture based on the little bit of information it gets, plus all the memories of what's happened before. And it's not always right and distorted. What you see in reality and what I see in reality probably very, very different. So here we are, we're dealing with uh, our senses that are very, very limited. We're dealing with our own cognitive biases based on all the events of what's happened in our history and what we've seen, what people have told us, all that kind of stuff. But we don't recognize those things generally. We think we see the absolute truth. And we absolutely do not see the truth. We see a representation of reality according to the way we perceive it. It's like Einstein said a long, long time ago, it's all in our perception. It's all in your point of view. And my point of view and your point of view is probably very different. You know, police always, a good policeman will tell you that eyewitnesses are, are really bad, are really a poor uh, bit of information to solve a case. Because everybody sees the same thing and sees it differently, describes it differently. Even our language, if I go to the grocery store and I see something happen, I can tell you about it 
We're using the same language, so you think you understand what I'm saying. You draw this uh, imaginary situation in your mind, how you interpret what I'm saying. It may be right. It may be completely wrong. I know you've, you've, everybody's experienced that before where we describe something and later on come to find out that person didn't understand what we were saying at all. So we're dealing with all these limitations on perception and interpretation. And then we've got something so strange happening in the sky, uh, not always in the sky, but we got this really strange thing happening that, first of all, our vision doesn't make sense of it. Our cognitive biases don't make sense of it. But our vision and our cognitive biases all collaborate together and draw us a picture, make the best guess it can, and it comes out very, very strange. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a series of videos and try to explain from my point of view what I think is happening. And I don't know, not everybody's going to, not everybody's going to be happy with that. <laughs> but I hope you guys uh, watch this series of videos I'm going to put together. And I'm gonna talk about the way I believe this thing is unfolding, why it's important. And I'm gonna uh, delve into trying to understand higher dimensions. That might be a clue. Okay, check it out, come back. Let's get this thing done. Let's all understand what's going on because it's happening and it's happening at a progressively quicker pace, just like AI and all the sciences. And to speak of that, I'm very encouraged that all this crazy chaos is actually gonna be a positive thing. Uh, I saw uh, Chris Lato on the Lato Files the other day and yeah, he made some good points. And for the last year or so, I've, I've, been, I've been having that same kind of uh, take on things, that things are headed in a positive direction eventually. There's gonna be a bleep, shit bleep, show for bleep. now. I shouldn't say that. It's gonna be a bleep bleep show for now. The, the uh, crap is gonna hit the fan and then what, what works out will be a good thing, I hope.